Hi everyone, my name is Christy and welcome to my trying a new makeup product everyday series. Today I am so excited to try out this blush. This is from Laura Geller and I think this might be my first Laura Geller product that I've gotten in Ipsy, but I love the brand Laura Geller. And I got this in my September 2021 Ipsy Glam Bag Plus which if you have not seen that unbagging video yet, I'll have that video linked in the description down below. And I am so happy with that bag and all of the makeup that I got. And so this here is the Baked Blush and Brighten Marbleized Blush that I got in the shade Tropic Hues. So this retails for $28. It's cruelty free. And I love that it's also supposed to give glow and shine to the cheeks as well. And it just looks so beautiful. I love the look of the marbled effect. Here you can see what that looks like. I'm gonna go ahead and do a swatch to start. Oh, I think this is going to be very pigmented. Oh my gosh, yes. Very pigmented and it has beautiful shimmer glow to it. So here you can see that swatch. It's very red, which is not my favorite tone in blush for me personally. I just hope it doesn't come across too like rosacea red <laughs> to my cheeks because my cheeks already have redness in them and I use foundation to cover that up. So I want to put like a sun-kissed glow, not anything too red. So I'm interested to see how this is going to look on me. Trying to just take a little bit since this is very pigmented. So let's find out. Proud of myself for actually going in with a light hand. I do want to add a little bit more just to see how this color truly looks. So let's see. It's very beautifully buildable. It's not the easiest formula to blend out. And since it is baked, it's more of that dry texture. But if you work at it just for a tiny bit, then it blends out just fine. And it doesn't really leave any powdery texture on the skin, so that's good. It's funny, it's like a matte powder, but it has a little shine to it, which gives the glow to the skin. So actually, I feel like two layers is perfect. It gives that flush of color and that glow radiance. And I mean, it's, it's not my most flattering shade of blush, but it's pretty. I guess a good way for me to describe it is I don't want it to look like I have a sunburn <laughs> on my cheeks, but I want my cheeks to still look sun-kissed. And this is kind of coming off on me more of a red sunburn <laughs> shade. And I think I just am so like particular about how red my cheeks are since that is one of my skin concerns. But I don't want to be adding any extra redness so it's a really pretty blush formula i love the glow it's just getting over the fact that i feel like i need to cover up this redness in my cheeks <laughs> but i feel like this blush will literally last forever because it's so pigmented and i literally just go like just tap a tiny little bit and that's how much i'm using on my cheeks and I already probably am applying too much, but I just can't help myself with the blush. Like it's so pretty of a formula and I love the sheen. Like it's the perfect amount of natural glow that you can't really tell that I'm wearing like a glowy shimmer on my skin because it just kind of looks like natural radiance, which is so beautiful. I feel like if I had this formula in a bronzer, I would love it, which I think Laura Geller probably makes, which I would love to get in Ipsy. I would be really excited to be able to get a Laura Geller glowing bronzer. I mean, I do really like my finished look. It looks really pretty because of that added glow. I think if it didn't have that 
perfect glow sheen to it, I would feel like my cheeks looked too red. But because of the glow, it looks more like a blush and like makeup. So I would really love to hear in the comments down below, of course, your thoughts on the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten, but I'd also love to hear some of your favorite Laura Geller products. You know, Laura Geller makes a great primer, which maybe I have seen in Ipsy before, but still, I'm happy to get more Laura Geller products in the future, that'd be great. Well, thank you so much for watching my video today. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you can see the makeup that I try every day, and I will see you tomorrow in my next video.